Hi there. This is the third video in my series on creating QR codes with Python. In the first two videos, we went over installing the QR code library for Python, and then we learned how to use a Python script to easily create QR codes and save them as image files with optional captions. Today I'll show you how to use a CSV file to create QR codes in batches so you can make dozens or even hundreds of QR codes in seconds. Again, this video assumes you are already running Python 3. If you aren't, or you don't know, you can always install the latest version for free from python.org. If you didn't already install the QR code package and the pillow image library support, you can do so now by running this command in your command prompt. Once you've installed the QR code library, you can download or clone the repository for this tutorial from GitHub using the link on screen. There's also a link in the description. Cloning the repository will give you access to this QR multi Python file that we'll be using in this tutorial. It's also going to give you access to fonts in the font folder that you'll need if you plan on making QR codes with captions. Let's visit the folder that was created when you either cloned or downloaded and extracted the GitHub repository. You should see the QR make file that we ran in the last video to create QR codes one at a time. Today we're going to run the QR multi file. We will then feed it data from the states CSV file that you see here. If we take a look at that CSV file, you can see that we have two columns, one for the data being encoded to the QR code and a second optional column for caption data. If you don't want captions on your QR images, you can leave that second column blank. Let's run our QR multi file now and see how this all works. So the first question it's going to ask is the name of your data file, which we know we're using our states.csv file. It's going to ask you if you want to use captions from the second column. I'm going to answer Y for yes. It'll ask you what to name the folder where it's going to save all these QR codes. I'll call that states. And just like we saw in the previous video, it's going to prompt you if you want larger QR code images, you can enter a number here. I'm just going to hit enter to keep the default. I can also change the image type. I'm again going to hit enter for the default of PNG. And now it's going to cycle through each line in that spreadsheet and it's going to create a QR code based on the data in those two columns. And depending on the speed of your computer, this might only take a couple seconds, it might take a couple minutes, but definitely quicker than creating QR codes one at a time. And once that process is finished, if you navigate to your save folder, you should see a subfolder named states because that's what we asked for. And in that folder we have 51 items. There are 51 because I left the header row, so it actually made a QR code where the caption is caption. But if you look at one of the others, you can see it's gone through and it's created a QR code for every single line in that CSV file. And because I asked for captions, it's created captions that are part of the image and it's done that for every single one of the captions in that second column. And this will work for any data that you put into a CSV file. So if you can get something into a spreadsheet and download it as a CSV file, you can feed that CSV file into our QR multi Python file when it asks for it. And it'll go through line by line and create a QR code for every single item in that first column. So I hope you enjoyed this series and learned a thing or two about creating QR codes with Python. I made these scripts because I found myself needing to create QR codes in bunches often enough to wonder if there was a better way to do it with Python. And as always, Python was up to the challenge. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll subscribe for more. Have a good one.